Hello everyone, we will continue the topic adding custom fields to the standard BAPI and in the previous video what we did, we declared two work areas. One work area is referring to BAPI underscore TE underscore MARA and another work area is referring to BAPI underscore TE underscore MARA X. In the first work area, we pass the values of the custom fields. In the second work area, we pass the values of the custom field as capital X. And we always, always this kind of provision in the BAPI. If you will say we have client data, we have a corresponding client data X. We have plant data, we have corresponding plant data X. In one parameter, we are passing the value. In the second corresponding parameter, we are passing the value of that column to capital X so that SAP can understand that you are updating the values of only those columns. Now, after that, what we did, we simply, simply uncommented these two parameters, extension in and extension INX. And they are the most important parameters because this is the only provision by which we can pass the values of custom fields to the BAPI. SAP provided this provision whenever you want to pass the values of custom fields to the BAPI, you can always, you always have to use extension in and extension INX. Same to same concept apply here also. We have a parameter and we have a corresponding update parameter which ends with X. We will go for dig down of this and we will go thorough understanding and then I will come on to logic part. Suppose if I will go for first internal table LT underscore extension in which we declared it is referring to this particular structure. This structure has five columns. One column name is structure itself and other four columns are value part one to value part four. Now what this structure will be used for? It is clearly saying you will pass the structure name of your BAPI extension. Whatever the structure name you are using, you need to pass that structure. And what is this value part 1 to value part 4? They will be used to pass the data or the values. I will again repeat, in this particular structure, we will pass the name of the BAPI extension structure which we are using. And in this value part 1 to value part 4, we will pass the values. If we will go for an understanding in our current example, in our current example, what will be the name of the structure which we will pass? Our name of the structure will be papi underscore te underscore mara. And what will be the values? What will be the values we will pass in value part 1 to value part 4? Our legacy system identification and matter is absolute or not. So structure will be BAPI underscore TE underscore MARA because that is our extension structure for the BAPI. Yes. And we will use these value part 1 to value part 4 to pass the values of our custom fields. What are our custom fields? Our legacy system identification and matter is absolute or not. Now you will get more more understanding. This is that first parameter. Now if I will go for second parameter, what we will pass in the corresponding second parameter? If I will go just see only one word difference is there in the type X. If I will go for double click, you can see same to same things are there. If I will go for structure and you can easily, easily understand if it is ending with X. So it means if I will pass the structure name here, 
but the corresponding structure we will pass for mara it will be bapi underscore te underscore mara x just understand the concept here in the first parameter we are passing the name of the structure as bapi underscore te underscore mara in the second parameter we are passing bapi underscore te underscore mara x in the first in the first parameter in the first you are passing the values you are passing the values and in the second one in the second one we will pass the values of those corresponding columns to capital x only and most most important understanding if you think if you have a clear understanding whenever we have a parameter we have a corresponding update parameter also in the bapi it will be very very help to under helpful to understand in in the first parameter you will pass the values in the second parameter you will pass the corresponding column values to capital x and same concept is in case of your extension also once i will write the logic it will give you more 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 clear understanding now we will write the logic i will go for ls underscore extension this is our internal table what is the work area this is the work area firstly we will pass the things to the work area i will write ls underscore extension in hyphen what is the first first column name in the ls underscore extension in structure structure i will just go for structure and what is our structure name bapi underscore te underscore mara so in the structure name we are passing the x bapi extension structure which we are using now we need to pass the values and you will clearly clearly understand your values your values of legacy system identification and material type where are your values your values are in this work area your values are in this work area so we will simply pass ls underscore extension in hyphen if i will go for this double click you can see we have value part one which will be used to pass the values value part one and where in which particular work area you have the values in this work area we have the values so we pass the structure and values to this particular work area can we append it to internal table yes we will pass it to internal table append ls underscore extension in to lt underscore extension a we all know after every append we should make a practice to clear the work area so your structure and the corresponding values of the custom field you appended it to this internal table and this internal table we are passing it to bapi now can we fill the corresponding update parameter also yes it is very easy and it will give you thorough thorough understanding if i will simply copy this you will understand more now what is your second work area which you declared if i will double click you can see what is the second work area which you declared ls underscore extension inx so i will simply put x i will simply put x but here now it will be bapi underscore te underscore mara x mara x i will put in capital and the corresponding values of the columns capital x where you are passing it is in this particular work area 
the corresponding values of custom field is capital X in which particular work area in this work area and we will pass it to this ls underscore extension in inx work area. So it will be your extension in inx lt underscore extension in inx and we will clear ls underscore extension in inx most most important part so we fill the first internal table we pass the structure bhakti extension structure we pass the values in the corresponding update parameter we pass the corresponding extension structure which ends with x and we pass the values of corresponding parameters to capital x and we appended the data to the internal table. Now, we should always, always clear the, or we should always refresh the internal table after every iteration. Otherwise, what will happen? Data will simply, simply append to this internal table, internal table. Suppose for the first iteration, we are filling these internal tables and BAPI is executing. If we will not refresh this internal tables after execution of the BAPI, then what will happen? Again, data will append to this internal table. Records will become two. Again, data will append to this internal table. Records will become three. But this is not our scenario. At a time, we are only, only processing one record. So we will, after processing each and every record, we will simply refresh the internal table. So I will refresh LT underscore extension in and we will refresh LT underscore extension INX. T E N S. I will check the syntax. Okay. I think some name is wrong. I will put right name. I'll check the syntax and activate. So, what is the summary of the video? We finished with the full logic part and what we studied in this particular video, how we can pass the values of custom fields to the extension parameter, to the extension parameters of the BAPI.